So some pictures of Tristan and Kylie floating around on the internet have me in hysterics, guys. They're absolutely mess. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content, guys. Consistent and persistent, baby. Inject it. And let's get straight into this video. So we obviously have Tristan and Kylie getting out of a car. Why are they even together in cahoots? I don't understand. He doesn't need to be near the family considering what he's done. If anything, he only needs to be around Chloe and True when Chloe and True are together. Or, you know, to give True to Tristan. Like, he doesn't need to be around other family members. I don't understand it. They keep him in close proximity. And, you know, it's just un ridiculous because they're tolerating his cheating behavior. Parked that to side. But he's caught looking at Kylie in a kind of way that looks quite flirtatious or checking her out or looking at her rear end. Now, again, these are just photos. And photos can take it from any angle and they don't mean it to be in that perception because they're just a photo. Perhaps his eyes were looking somewhere else, but they just look like they are. And, you know, of course, they've hit the shade room, they've hit the blogs, and everybody seems to be talking about it. And in true fashion of Tristan's behavior of him cheating on Chloe, you know, him look looking at his sister isn't a surprising sentiment, but it doesn't look good for Tristan at all. And I just think that this man coming into this family I like apart from being true being born I think that it wasn't a good idea because you're now known for cheating and not being stable in a relationship as opposed to your basketball career I don't know you for basketball I don't know you for basketball so it's a shame that majority of people don't know you for your career and for what you worked hard for, but for the fact that you've been stepping out on your woman, creating other babies, and now you're seen looking at home Kylie in that kind of funny way. Um, Kim obviously put up videos of uh, Saint um, and Sam. Mr. Man, say hi. Hi. This is called Instagram Live. Hi, weirdos. Hey, stop it. Hi, Vargas. If you're yes. watching this, I hate you. Hey, Saint. I watch it. And hey, I hate hey, you. look what you're teaching him. I'm it's gonna... good, hey, good. Hey, this hey, is hey. a good boy. This is a good boy. Oh, this is a good boy. I'm gonna have. The P is silent. Yeah, um, and of course they were just like on live saying we don't like you, whoever's watching this, we don't like you. Very cheeky behavior as kids. And of course Kim is trying to stop them when this video has gone absolutely viral. And then she scolds them again when she's on the Tonight Show. And these are definitely Kanye's kids from the way they act in. Mr. Man, say hi. Hi. This is called Instagram Live. Hi weirdos. Hey, stop it. Hi vloggers. If you're yes. watching this, I hate you. Hey, Saint. I watch it. And hey, I hate hey, you. look what you're teaching him. I'm it's gonna... good. Hey. Good. I'm gonna have and the personality that they have and these videos have just gained traction so I just wanted to throw that in there in this video they are kids they're toddlers they're young people they're obviously not going to be accustomed to acting sensible for social media and Instagram and etc etc that they're all clouded by by their family so it's just going to be sad seeing them grow up and the warped world that they're going to develop quite quickly with socials all around them and that you know they can't really act as kids because they've got everything around them to be put online and you know what if they grow older and they regret the idea of being put online like Rob's an example he didn't obviously like a lot of it and it's done a lot to him and I do think that some of the children might grow up thinking that we didn't ask for this life and we've been planted everywhere our names are everywhere everybody knows who we are and we just don't want to be known like that so you know that could also happen as well and these children whiling out in their funny ways We'll just see what happens when they get older. But it's just interesting to talk about children who grow up in heavy social media families, the Kardashians being the biggest, and the profound impact that can have on their mental health. Interesting. That could be somebody's dissertation, guys. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this quick fire video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And I will catch you guys soon for another video.